So, Taurus, in the, well, not in the, I was going to say in the recent past, but we'll start with uh, your oracle advice. We have perception, and it reads, on the flip side, manage your mind when you direct your thoughts and words toward the outcome you most desire, you will ignite grace. And it's paired with I choose love, no matter what. So basically for your advice for the month of March, manage your mind. Uh, try to stay focused. Direct your thoughts and, and your words towards the outcome that you want to achieve or obtain. And um, it's saying that make sure you put a lot of energy into uh, practicing love, no matter what. So I guess that will help bring balance to your energy. If there's a lot of hate in your energy, then you could be thrown off balance in the month of March. So focus on uh, giving the mindfulness, managing your mind. And for you to do that, you need to let go of any negative energy. And that includes hate. So that's probably why the I, chose, I Choose Love card came up. I choose love no matter what. So that's your oracle advice for the month of March. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at the recent past. We have Judgment and Queen of Cups. Now Judgment, it's a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and judgments, of course, that are too hastily made. If you know you're the type that's prone to doing such things, it's a signal that you need to slow down. Slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. Um, this could be a time of spiritual awakening when you get the Judgment card. And that would have been in the recent past. Now, in the recent past, if you were in a relationship, it could have been a make or break period. Uh, it would have been a time to get very clear about what you wanted out of life and your relationships. And then take steps to make it come about. If you were single in the recent past, Taurus, a new love, it could have came about. But you would have needed to take steps to make sure that you were not jumping to conclusions, positive or negative. So that's judgment. Now, it's paired with this Queen of Cups. Now, this Queen of Cups is a woman. This woman, uh, she would have been really helpful to you in the recent past. Uh, she would have reminded you to bring love and compassion to your work or to your life, maybe. And that would have been possible even if you worked in a factory with objects all day rather than people. This Queen of Cups is a very loving, supportive energy. Now, things were probably better in your working world, though, when you get this card in a reading. Probably better than you, you were realizing. When the Queen of Cups talks about love and relationships, it indicates a very positive outlook about a relationship that you had. And if you were single and you get the Queen of Cups, it would have been a, it's an indicator that you needed to get out and socialize. Because a new, very positive romance, it could have been on the horizon for a lot of you tourists in the recent past. Now the thing is, when this card appears, it's easy to get carried away when it comes to love. So you would have had to try to keep your balance and your perspective. Because even with the excitement of new love, it's important to keep track of other things that are going on in your life. So, for the recent past, Judgment and Queen of Cups, um, there could have been a, a love, some type of romance, or even a person in your life that was very loving, supportive, and they brought a lot of positive energy. This person was really nurturing and healing. Um, but you probably jumped to a lot of conclusions with this person. So it probably caused this friendship or romance or maybe situation to be at a make or break stage. Yeah, because you were just not giving this situation or this person enough chances and uh, just making decisions too hastily but this person was a positive person 
or it could have been a positive situation. Uh, the situation probably would have healed you in a lot of ways. Or this person. But you, um, you needed to slow down. Your mind was running, your mind was running overboard with this person or this situation. So that's the recent past. Now let's move on to the present time. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Now the Five of Pentacles, it's about a time that you could be feeling less than secure. Uh, the thing is to remember that there's always help when you need it from forces seen and unseen. Uh, in March, we're already in March now, yep. So you could be feeling alone. But you have the capacity to change that. So reach out. You might feel like you're being left out in the cold. As though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. So realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it. Because the help you need will come. If you can see the picture of this lady... Uh, she's choosing not to go inside the door, inside of her house, or wherever she was trying to go. She walked right past it, and someone helped to uh, uh, helped her to not go inside. Someone's just taking her, her away. So it could be some situation for a lot of you, Taurus, where you're going to feel like um, you're being mistreated. And it's paired with the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles is a term for the better. Uh, could be with money. It's a very posi positive pinnacle card. It speaks about equality, fairness, and the nature of life. Uh, you could be heading into a very positive cycle. Now, this Six of Pentacles, it's a card about generosity, meaning that you are either about to become the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So this is a really good thing. Very good thing. So basically, for your present time in March, you've got this Five of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. Um, we'll start with the Six of Pentacles. You could be the beneficiary. Someone wants to give you something of value. I usually tease my my subbies when I get this card that oh maybe somebody's got a sugar daddy you know maybe he's breaking off a whole lot of money in the month of March <laughs> if so you know hey just you can hit me hit me up too hit me up a little bit but <laughs> I tease them and, and um, for those some of you do have sugar daddies so it could be some type of situation like that or but it's about someone giving you something of value so maybe someone sees that you're feeling left out in the cold all right and someone knows that um, that you're not in a good situation so maybe someone is being supportive of you supportive of you at this time and giving you what you need so it turns around for the better sugar daddy or no sugar daddy somebody is going to pull you out of this feeling of being left out in the cold it's a turn for the better which is a good thing because no one likes to feel like they're alone or unhappy about some type of situation so that's the present time now let's move on over and let's take a look at the challenge. So for your challenge we have the Seven of Swords. And it's with the Queen of Swords. Two swords. The swords are usually interesting cards. So let me explain the Seven of Swords if you don't already know. It's about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. It can sometimes mean prying into someone's life where you don't belong. 
if for some reason you sense that someone is spying on you, you could be right. And if you're tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of yours, of your minor child, or someone who's giving you cause for concern, you need to resist that impulse because we all know everyone deserves privacy. That's the Seven of Swords. It's paired with the Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords, it points to a woman in your life. This woman is not to be trifled with. Often she'll have hair on the darker end of the spectrum, dark eyes, dark hair. If this is not a person, it can point to the need for you to us. A need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation just to get your needs met. You may need to put your foot down. This Queen of Swords, it can indicate that your instincts are serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. Like I said, this Queen is very forceful energy. And some people will find, find this person abrasive. So, for your challenge, Seven of Swords and Queen of Swords. So, we got someone stalking you, Taurus. Someone could be using tactics, tactics and strategy and manipulation, possibly, also. Uh, someone could be playing games. That's what the Seven of Swords is about. So, there's, you might be feeling it, and then it might make, make you feel like, some situation you can't trust. Yeah, so it's with this Queen of Swords. There's going to be a, a need for you to be forceful with this stalking. So you probably know about it. And um, it could be a person that you know that's this Queen of Swords. Someone coming to you like this. Or it could be the person that's stalking you. This they have a very forceful energy. Yeah, and they're not they're one not to be trifled with. This could be the person stalking you, or this could be you having this type of energy to deal with this this person who's playing games or being manipulative or just keeping their eyes on you. You may need to be forceful just to cut it out. So that's interesting. So that's going to be the challenge. Now let's move on to the outcome. The outcome, we have the Fool and the Ace of Wands. Now the Fool card is it's about newness in one form or another. It could indicate purity and, and having an open-hearted open energy. And it could be like the innocence of a child. Children are trusting. Trust forms the basis for this card. This is usually considered a positive card, but there could be one thing. It's important to take time to make sure you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a mistake. And I say this because I, you probably can't see the card that well, but this man, he's just He's just wanting to have fun. He's got an open. He has open-hearted energy, and he doesn't realize it. But he's walking off of a cliff, and he's walking straight forward into the Atlantic Ocean, some type of ocean. You can't see this picture too well, but surrounding below him is all blue water. So you need to. Pay attention to where you're going because you'll be having a lot of free-for-all energy in the month of March. It could be at the end of March or time is fluid when you get these readings. So it's not necessarily in March, but maybe around that time. So there's some new beginning, though. It's going to make you really happy, this new beginning, because it's very positive. It could be work, career, or it could be a family relationship. Some new beginning is coming in. And if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are 
about to get much better very soon with this Ace of Wands. Uh, very soon. This card is about upbeat, optimistic, and being hopeful about the future with reason, good reason. So you'll be feeling really energetic and positive, or you will be feeling that way very soon. Now's a good time to start something new. So a new relationship, a new person, a new job, something new is coming in for you, Taurus. For a lot of you, Taurus. And it's going to make you feel really happy. Really happy. Upbeat. So upbeat and so happy that you're going to feel like this, this fool. So you're going to have a, a lot of open-hearted energy and you'll be feeling like it's a new day. But what did I tell you before? <laughs> Make sure you're watching where you're going, all right? Because you're going to be so happy that you just might walk off into the Atlantic Ocean. So that's, that's really good. I like that outcome. But just be careful. New beginnings are great, but this one is going to be so great that you'll be feeling like a child again. So kudos to you, Taurus. So that's going to be your reading. For March. Now that was a general reading, but I did do two love readings. One was a bonus reading uh, for Taurus for March. And so check those out just in case you're in a relationship. They might find them helpful and they might resonate with you. So just go to the home page and you'll see the words Taurus bonus reading and Taurus love reading. And um once again, I thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I hope that 2020 is going well for you. I hope that March is a beautiful month for you. And I hope that you have a great day. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. Watching. Watching.